guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I know it's been a couple days, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna, today I'm gonna do a book review off of a book I just, I just read, like, finished reading yesterday, called Bad Hair Day. Now, this book was pretty good. Um, I watched the episode just now, and I gotta say... It was not a good adaptation of this, like, at all. But, this one isn't that scary. Um, so this is about this kid, Tim, Tim Soison. Um, and he loves magic. He likes performing his own magic shows, but he also has this idol who he looks up to, that's like the magician, called the Amazo. So, um, he wants to be a real magician someday, and this person gives him a free ticket to the Mazo place. And he's like, oh, freak yeah. But he realizes his parents won't let them do that. No, no, no. Um, because it's at 10 p.m. on a school night. But you know what he does? Sneaks out. But his little sister, that's a brat, catches him and forces her to go with him. And they go there, and they realize the Amazo isn't what he seems like. So yeah, this that this is a this was a pretty good book. It was pretty. It wasn't that scary. Um, I would rate this. This was okay. So this buddy was this book was very boring. Like. Dr like it just was hard to get through, man. So I'd rate this like a six out of six, six out of ten, six point five out of ten. This, mm, I didn't like this one. I didn't like this one. I guess the plot wasn't even that good either, you know. And it wasn't something that I would expect for a Goosebumps book. This wasn't scary at all, especially even the episode two. So, I've, yeah, um, yeah, so, book is boring, I don't know if I would re recommend it, but you know what, you can check it out, I don't really care, uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day, my goosebumps.